I did turn on the video camera. Hey. Thank you. Keep me honest. It has been three years since we did this, so I've been saying the last month or so, do I remember how to do it? <laughs> We're all going to find out together in the next few hours. Uh, we are so happy to have you with, with us here for Super Session 2022. Um, you may notice from our Lisbeth submissions, I'm Jen Spur, I'm a choral music specialist here at Stanton's. I've been here, that's me, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Vanna. Um, I've been here at Stanton's almost 16 years. Um, my background is in middle school and high school choral music. I do a lot of accompanying around in Columbus, so in and out of lots of different kinds of schools and kinds of teachers. Uh, so I love seeing what you're doing in your classrooms. My colleague, Laura Moore, <laughs> will be joining me up here today. She's retired from Hilliard City Schools a fantastic teacher, a fantastic educator, a uh, great resource for you here at Stanton's. Andy Beck is somewhere in New York City. Oh, oh no. no! He texted me at about 7.30 last night that he was at LaGuardia, had been at LaGuardia for eight hours, oh. had been sitting on a plane on the runway for three of those hours, oh, yeah. and had just turned back to the terminal. At that point, didn't know what was happening. Spoiler alert, there were thousands of flights on the East Coast canceled last night, so he is in New York City. I hope that he gets like last minute tickets to Into the Woods or something this afternoon. There are worse places he could be stranded, but yeah. Andy is not here today. Uh, so we are going to execute a lesson plan that I wrote late last night. As I'm sure none of you, you have do ever it. done you this. Do it. None of us have ever done that. We are more responsible than that. Uh, but we've got a great packet that we're gonna go through today. Uh, I know it's great to see a lot of familiar faces here with us. Uh, this is our only school choral session this year. We usually have a few days of the Joy of Singing sessions with Hal Leonard, which they are not uh, sponsoring this year. They weren't doing those runouts here around the country. So that we really looked at that as an opportunity to make this session really targeted to the very best stuff from all of the publishers we work with. And this really is a great packet that I'm excited for you to see. We looked a lot and thought a lot about the rebuilding that we're all doing. Yep. Um, you know, we're all often in, we have different challenges in different positions and different uh, schools and cities and whatever, uh, but we have a common challenge at this point in the world, and that's kind of getting back to a more normal choral experience and rebuilding things. Um, you know, I've talked to a lot of teachers the, the kids that are, if you're teaching high school, kids coming into ninth grade were in sixth grade when we shut down. So they're coming into high school with basically no real middle school choral experience. So skills that you think ninth graders always have, my ninth graders know how to do this, they may not know how to do that this year. So uh, between what we've selected and really what the publishers were putting out, we saw that across the board, uh, they're really focusing on that, things that are gonna build skills while also being artistic and being programmable, uh, things that work on a concert that are really gonna make your kids sound good and feel good and enjoy being part of your, uh, your ensembles. So we'll work through the packet that you have. You've got um, a stack in the uh, plastic sleeve. That's the Andy portion. That's when I'll be doing my Andy back impersonation. I'm gonna grow eight and a half inches <laughs> to do my Andy impression. Uh, and we'll go kind of back and forth between that and the other octavos that, uh, that are me and Laura. So we'll kind of go back and forth, I'll lead you through that. All of the things we're reading today are here in the room, so if you want to see a different voicing, um, again, kind of looking at rebuilding, lots more great SAB three-part stuff for high school, uh, two-part stuff, even uh, things that are not going to feel like th these are baby songs that were in high school, we're big kids. You know, things that really work in smaller voicings uh, in really nice ways. There's a form in the front of that plastic packet uh, that you can fill out your contact information. We'll use that at the end of the day to draw for door prizes at the end of the day. You must be present to win. <laughs> uh, but we've got some great stuff there as well. Uh, restrooms, if you need them, are straight across on the other side of the store and to the right men's below the stairs, ladies up the stairs. There's also a first floor one-seater, a onesie bathroom in uh, the back that we can help direct you to as well. 
We are thrilled, as always, to have Joyce Stonebreaker at the Mighty Piano. Again, just like old times. Just like old times. Uh, There are valid reasons for all of those. I know that. So just throwing it out there. And I will also say, uh, as we're kind of reading through things, your job, as when we are here, is to even if this is a piece that's not for you, that's you can like you can tell what's going to be for you and what's not. Sing out and really give that your best performance as we're singing together, because it might be great for the person that's next to you, and it's really one of the great things about these sessions and being together. One of my top favorites, Dance Day, so I'm so excited to be back here, uh, is, is singing together and sharing that um, and helping your colleagues find things that are going to work for them as well. So just because it's not for you doesn't mean it's not for somebody in here. Sing out, make it great. Anything from the peanut gallery, things I'm forgetting? Just glad to see everyone. Glad it's so great to have so an in-person yeah. in session. So yeah, we had our church uh, sessions in person last summer and in January, um, but we weren't able, we did our school sessions virtually the last couple of years, so we are truly thrilled. Uh, we're going uh, to start with, um, has anybody used Andy's vocalized book? It, it, like, it's classic at this point. First, your teacher walks in the door, I'm like, here you go, here you go, this is what you do. Um, there's also, this came out a few years ago, the Canon Collection, the green one, which I really love too. Uh, again, rebuilding through the year, Canon's part songs, great for building that harmonic singing skills. This is a great resource. And finally, so excited, this year, Vocalize 2 came out, so brand new stuff, uh, and we're gonna have- Enhance your rehearsal routine with Vocalize 2, 36 more exercises that teach technique. This highly anticipated addition to Alfred's popular warm-up series features focused vocal drills designed to develop posture, breath support, vowels, tone quality, resonance, diction, intonation, range, expression, and more. Sound the music now. an entirely new set of modulating melodies with informative and pedagogical lyrics that introduce or reinforce key concepts for solo and ensemble singers. throughout or download lightly orchestrated accompaniments for the entire collection included with purchase vocalize 2 is available as a comb bound physical book or a downloadable PDF
welcome Mr. Dale Meraki. He's going to join us on uh, Benedict Hamus Domino. This is a great, majestic concert opener. Victor Johnson, uh, this is the kind of thing that he does so well. Uh, good teaching literature, fanfare opener. Um, we've got Latin texts through here uh, and a nice rhythmic, majestic feel to it. Let's party. <laughs> All right, So there's always going to be a comfortable pitch. I will do it. 
great on a fall concert. Mm. This Bringers of Noise, the one you have in your packet is the two-part treble essay. There's a new SAB voicing this year, uh, which I think is really the sweet spot for this piece. Um, and we're going to hear a little bit from the composer, Kyle Peterson. That's probably a name you've seen floating around recently. Hi, I'm Kyle Peterson, composer of Bringers of Noise, and I'm excited to introduce you to the piece, two settings for you to consider. And a bass setting, a soprano alto setting. And now Both I think. Both invite you into a mythological world where the biggest sounds of that world, the sound of thunder, of exploding mountaintops, of volcanoes, of pounding waves, those sounds are actually caused by bringers of bones, a group of supernatural mythological beings who hunger around their drums and, uh, and bang those drums, making these various sounds. So the choir represents these birds of noise as they seek to make their voices and sounds known. The piece starts with a low D octave, and into that it has some dramatic narration, and the narrator will say, in the time before time, all of this soft rains of stones, then we arrive, rams up, and the birds of noise are the river. The drums begin, drum solo. Could have a single drummer on up through a gaggle of drummers playing whatever makeshift or actual drums you have available. Into that, the choir begins to chant. Some whispered chanting in a made up imaginary language befitting this mythological world. So they'll say things like Shiva, Shina, Shifu, Shanakaza, Mufu, Chiaku, Saba. Into that, singing in both English and this made up language will happen. Some optional vocal percussion. In the middle, at the end, a third optional descant part is added for dramatic impact. And at the very end, Kanye Mazan no boy here. And then the audience will hopefully erupt in dramatic applause. <laughs> Lots of space in this piece for you to lean into the dramatic and make this a real concept piece, whether that might involve special lighting or costumes or light choreography, staging, fire. Both settings are meant to be very accessible, accessible in terms of the part writing and the ranges, but though they are accessible, they're also meant to be very high impact, and so a unique piece that your singers and audience will not likely soon forget. All right. I actually played this on a concert with one of the middle schools I worked with this spring. The kids loved it. Uh, there was that one eighth grader whose voice has totally changed, you know you've got one who changed early, uh, was their narrator. So we're going to hear the SAB. This is the new SAB voicing. In the time before time, there it is. Oh, Can't you see him, that one eighth grader? He was so proud. Rains, still waters, sounds muted. Then we arrived. We brought the clap of the thunder. We brought the pound of the wave. We exploded the mountain top. We crushed the ground under the feet of beasts. You hear a blast? We are there. You hear a howl? We are there. You hear a rumble and a roar? We are there. We are the bringers of noise.
and you get the pitch in there. The notes in there aren't that hard. That would come together really quickly. Uh, that would come together really quickly. Very different. Weird in the way that kids love. My kids loved it. Loved it. Did the audience? Yeah. Yeah, it was very cool. Very cool. Did you have fireworks? We did not have fire. We did have a big bass drum, though. Fire. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, that drum and the foot stomps, the whole group together, really cool. And again, something very different. Popcorn, Andy Beck. He writes these great novelty numbers for two parts that are great for beginning choir, fourth, fifth, sixth grade, even up into, I used to use some of his older, like two-part uh, novelty things with my Little, my tiny little treble show choir that I had, um, you know, nine freshman, sophomore girls, good part writing, um, and lots of fun. Uh, these, do you remember back in the day, I've been doing this long enough, back in the day, they used to have the um, choreography DVDs, where Andy and Sally would teach you the choreography. They started doing those free, free video online choreography videos. Uh, so we're gonna sing and we're gonna watch Andy dance for us. Salt shaker maracas. Solitary flake. None is here 
by chance or by mistake, all are part of life's design, each unique and each divine. I think that's the beauty of snowflakes. They are each divine and together they create a beautiful picture. My favorite part of this song musically is in the bridge, which really takes you through a number of different key shifts and talks about the fleeting uh, characteristics of a snowflake. As much as we love it and wish to hold it in the palm of our hand, all too soon it will melt away. And we remember the snow on snow on snow again. of it. 
Uh, did anybody do a bring me a little water, Sylvie, a few years ago? Everybody did bring me a little water, Sylvie. And then like six weeks later, they'd call me and they'd say, okay, we had our concert last night. Everybody loved bring me a little water. I need, well, I want something else with that same kind of body percussion texture in it. Uh, and this works really nicely for that. Um, and again, nice layering of vocal parts really sets you up to be successful on it. Each part only has to focus on one thing at a time. 